So we're looking at just a very short period of time, right? Can you describe the time period we're looking at? Yes, this is uh, on June 7th uh, from 8.49 p.m. until 9.07 p.m. All right, so we're going to go, th go through here and just see exactly what was happening with her phone on that time. So it's the next slide, please. And what's happening here? At 8.49.26 seconds. You can pull the mic closer, please. Sorry. At 8.49 and 26 seconds, that's the last text message that was read by Maggie. It was indicated read on the device. Next. At 8.49 and 28 seconds, the back light goes off. And, and what does that mean? That uh, means that uh, the, screen. the screen's dark. Yeah, okay. sorry. And next. At uh, 8.49 and 31 seconds, the phone locks and it remains locked until it's recovered by law enforcement the next day. Next. At 8.53 and 8 seconds, the backlight comes back on. The phone's eliminated. And next. And 8.53 and 12 seconds, orientation to portrait starts. Next. At 8.53 and 15 seconds, that's when the phone began logging the 59 steps. Next. And and it's on the screen and yeah sorry and at 8:53 and 20 seconds there's Siri usage this was indicated in the knowledge C database um, and that can be done by squeezing the side button hold on to it for a short period of time and Siri activates at that point so this this is a, a user interface you know yes like so, yes yeah, it actually shows up as Siri UI so it's a Siri user interface next uh, at 8.53 and 24 seconds, the orientation to portrait completes. Next. At 8.53 and 28 seconds, the backlight goes off again, so the phone's dark. Next. At 8.53 and 32 seconds, the backlight comes back on on the phone and eliminates. Next. At 8.53 and 44 seconds, the backlight goes off again. Do you have any opinion about why it just popped on and off like that? I mean, there there were no indications in the Knowledge C database that uh, any notifications came in or anything of that nature. Uh, the only thing I could uh, think would be that the phone were jostled or, or, or lifted or somehow uh, the light came on. And next. At 8.54 and 32 seconds, the backlight comes on. Next. At 8.54 and 34 seconds, uh, there's an entry in the Knowledge C database about the camera usage, uh, camera starts. Um, so in that, there are, um, in that database, and if you don't mind, I'll kind of Please expand see. on this. In that database, the Knowledge C database is comprised of tables uh, and rows and columns. And in that database, on that specific uh, item where the camera was, there is another column that is um, called the Z-structured metadata. And so if I follow uh, the camera under the, the value string there indicating that the camera was activated, if I follow that line all the way across to where that structured database is, excuse me, structured metadata is in that table, um, I'll get a, a, a PK number, a primary key number. Uh, that number was 571. Uh, in the Knowledge C database, there's another table within the Knowledge C database called Z structured metadata. So if I go to that table, because I found that number under the Z structured metadata column, if I go to that specific table in the database and look for that primary key 571 and I scroll all the way out to the end, I'll see a, a description of what that 571 is. Uh, and in that case, um, here, it was uh, com.apple.springboard.lockscreen.scroll, which would indicate that uh, it was a uh, camera function on the lock screen and that when you press that button in the bottom right corner of the phone it has a little, the little camera indication, it'll scroll over to a camera or you can swipe over from the left and then it, it uh, indicates that there's a camera there. So was this some sort of attempt by the phone on its own at Face ID? It didn't indicate that it was a Face ID at all. It indicated that it was a camera. And, and by indicated cameras, did it indicate that someone was Act some a person using the phone activated the camera. Yes. Okay. Next. Uh, at 8:54 and 35 seconds, the camera use ends. Okay. 
and pay, keeping in mind the time uh, stamp, go to the next slide. Uh, at 854 and 40 seconds, the orientation to landscape starts. Okay, and so how long was that since the camera usage? Uh, about five seconds since it ended. Uh, um, next slide. And then at 8.54 and 44 seconds, the orientation to landscape ends. And next? At 8.55 at and 4 seconds, the backlight turns off and the orientation to portrait starts. Now, a lot's happening on this one. What, what's happening yep. here? So right here, the, the phone was previously in landscape mode, uh, and it settled in at that landscape mode at 8.44 seconds. Um, the backlight went off at 8.55 and 4 seconds. Um, at that same time, uh, the orientation of portrait starts, and that's in th this is indicative of, of what I was talking about earlier. When you rotate the phone while it's in, uh, the sc screen's not lit, uh, and then the screen comes on and the orientation changes once the screen pops on. Uh, it'll, it'll flip over to wherever the camera or the, wherever the phone is turned to. Um, at this time, uh, it orientation, uh, the, the portrait ends at that time, and the orientation to the landscape starts at that time. So that's exactly what I was talking about. Um, and then the phone stops logging those 59 steps at that time as well. I'm going to kind of emphasize this. Could we go back um, four slides? All right. So when, when the camera use ends here, 854.35, Going forward, one slide, we have an orientation change. That's correct, uh, to the landscape starts, yes. Orientation to the landscape ends at 44 seconds after. And then the next slide. So now that the, it's, uh, the screen has gone off, how long has it been since the camera use? Let me go back in my. So it's 8.55 and 04. Since the camera use, uh, the camera use ended at 8.54 and 35, and then the backlight goes off at 8.55 and 4 seconds. So, uh, um, what is that, a minute? Is that 29 seconds? I mean, hang on, sorry. Yes, yeah, 29 seconds. I apologize. My math was terrible, wasn't it? Uh, yes. And then going forward. So what we had in that 29 seconds was an orientation change, and then the screen goes off. Right, that's correct. Where are we going with it now? <laughs> I just split the slide on me. All right, so let's go back to the slide that's timestamped 855.32. Is this where, we're, uh, where we left That's off? That's where we left off, yes. So here the backlight's on, the orientation of portrait ends, and then the orientation to landscape starts immediately when the light, uh, the backlight comes back up on the phone. Mm -hmm. And then we, the phone stops logging those 59 steps at that time as well. And the next slide, four seconds and later. Four seconds later, the backlight's back off again. Okay. Now we'll go kind of quickly here, the next slide, Comes uh, on. 903, the backlight's on. At 904 and 23, we have a missed call from Alex that starts. At 904 and 23, the backlight goes off. But now let's let's go back to the previous slide. One more. The backlight went off at the exact same time that a call came in from Alex Murdoch. That's correct, yes. And now the next slide. Uh, and then we have a missed call from Alex that that's, ends. That's at the call we just saw, right, ending. Yes. Do you have an opinion on why the, the screen light would go off pretty much right when a, a call comes in? Uh, the only thing that I could figure is when the phone came in, or excuse me, the call came in, that the person hit the side button to, to turn it off and then put it down or flip the phone over. Do you know of anything on the off. phone that would cause the screen to go off right when a call comes in and stay off during the call that does not involve human interaction with the phone? No, I don't. I go to the next uh, slide. 9.05 and 44 seconds, the backlight comes back on. 
And the 906 and 12 seconds in orientation change to portrait begins. Okay. And the next one, and we'll stop on that. Uh, at 906 and 14 seconds, there's an incoming call from Alex that starts at that time. And then the next one. And then the incoming call from Alex ends at 906 and 18 seconds. And the next slide. Uh, and then we have an orientation change to portrait ends at 906 and 12. And stopping here, that call we just saw coming in from Alex, that was sandwiched within this orientation change. That's correct, yes. It was in between them. And next slide. Uh, 90652, we have another incoming call from Alex that starts. And the next one. And then it ends, the incoming call from Alex ends at 906 and 59 seconds. Now the last slide. Uh, at 907, the backlight goes off and it remains off until 931 and 44 seconds. Okay. And do you know from your review of the, the GM GPS data where the Alec Murdoch Suburban was at 907? Yes, at 907. Uh, he was, was like uh, traveling from uh, the house or from his home to the house in uh, I forget the name of the city. Like right, uh, precisely at 907, where was he at that moment? The 907 would be the driveway, I believe. The driveway. Yes. And uh, Maggie's phone, the, the screen did not come on again until 931? That's correct. And just one more time, how, how much motion does it take to turn the screen? Uh, very little. I mean, just the slightest lift of the phone turns the screen on. 